when you are encountering problems they come like one problem after the i don't know if it happens to to some of you some of the people who were there with me when everything was rosy when like we we're jamming and everything was jejeli jeje we're nowhere to be found so yeah covid is real and take care of yourself things that will make me the boss babe i want to be <laughs> Finally be riding on my way Finally woke up with some luck in the buck I don't give up with someone, someone say Finally got my friends in the back on my roller We gon' make it big one day Hi guys, we welcome back to my channel If you are new here, my name is Naoko Alote And you are most welcome to my channel However, I would really do appreciate it If you hit the subscribe button below To join my amazing YouTube family To my returning viewers and subscribers Thank you so much for coming back guys so today's video is going to be a bit personal um so a couple of weeks back i was doing the whole um ask me any question thingy on on instagram if you are not following me on instagram kindly do so i'll put my handle or my username up here and follow me on the gram so yeah i was doing the whole ask me a question thingy and I had quite a number of people asking me about my business and what I've been up to, what's up with my business, have I stopped selling bikinis and a whole lot. So I also threw it back to my followers on Instagram to find out if they would want me to do like a life update video and majority of them said yes or majority of you said yes so basically in today's video like you can see from the title it's going to be a live update um i'm going to be talking more about my business though but then yeah generally a live update for you guys to know what has been going on with me what's up with me and all of that so like i said it's going to be a bit personal and a bit different okay right? so even yeah. before i go into the video or give you the update I just want to go back to a post. I think I posted this um, ending of last year. I think it was 31st December or so. Yeah, I posted this on 31st December and this literally sums up what has been up with me. Like the caption of this post actually sums up my updates, like sums up what has been going on with me and all of that so i meant every single word i wrote in this caption so yeah for those who follow me on the gram i'm pretty sure you might have seen this already but yeah the caption reads ask me to describe this year to you and the first thing i'll say is it's been an unpredictable year however this year got me reaffirming to myself that i am a strong lady and even way stronger than i ever thought this year started off on a very good note for me graduating my msc program in the uk and even emerging best graduating student for my program got back to ghana with so many plans so much energy and was so much looking forward to seeing all of these plans come to life but i was somewhat an unemployed master's degree graduate for nine good months my personal business was in shambles that is shipped items getting missing and having to refund some clients their money because they had pre-ordered to the extent that i thought i had lost it all corona showed up and i encountered the darkest moments of my life as well if anybody had told me around much time that this year is going to end on a good note just as it started i would have highly doubted that person but look at god got a job in september married my bestie in november got monetized on youtube in december gradually getting over the grief and emotional struggles i've had to go through because of my darkest moments and my personal business will be operational early next year all in all this year has been best and worst unpredictable eye-opening and has taught me that i am strong and unstoppable thanks to all who stuck with me during my down times those were really tough moments and having people like you by my side helped me pull through. I know this year has been an unusual year and we've all had our ups and downs, but let's look forward to a better 2021. P.S. We all fight silent battles. So, 
yeah just to break it down i'm just going to let you guys know what's been going on with my business and all of that so yeah as some of you may know i was away to go do my masters um i got back um in february right yeah i got back in february 2020 and first, before i left ghana to the uk to go do my masters i had the notion that i was just going to do my masters and come back and focus on my own business because my masters is a business program like um it's i did my masters in international business so my whole like the whole point was i'm going to to get better and then come and improve upon my business i didn't have it was never in my plan that i was coming back to to come and search for a job and all of that but yeah along the line when i was in school we had like series of courseworks or series of projects that required us to work with like um existing companies or existing um brands and i found that um, very interesting and I really enjoyed all of those projects so that sort of had me reconsider my decision of um, just coming back to concentrate on my own business I was like I would I would actually want to know how it feels to to apply what I've learned in the corporate environment so that sort of had me reconsider my decision and then when I go back yeah I I made up my mind I was going to to search for a job like I want to get back into the corporate field and see how it goes so yeah I got back um, I actually sent out my CVs to a couple of people who I knew could like help me out you know so I sent out my CVs to quite a number of them um, I even sent some to people um, December 2019 because I was in Ghana December 2019 before I went back for my graduation so even before I went back to the UK to graduate I had sent CVs out but yeah I hadn't heard from any of them but like yeah I was just hopeful I was just there hoping to at least hear something good out of it and I was still running my business when I got back when I was coming I actually brought stock for my shop and all of that so my business was still running and everything was going on well I don't even remember when Corona showed up, but then I think it was around February. I really can't remember, but I think February, March thereabout, Corona showed up. And even before the president actually, um, what's it called, announced the very first lockdown, I think I closed my shop a week before, yeah, I closed my shop a week before the president announced the lockdown because of how things were going, Corona, people were not really walking in because obviously everyone was scared and we're doing a lot of like online sales so i was like you know what let's just close down until um it's safe enough for everyone to come out and all of that so yeah i asked my sales girl to to stay at home till like things get okay so yeah i think a week after that the president announced the lockdown and when lockdown I know yeah when i was in school i started the whole um personal shopping thing because i had like easy access to a lot of brands and it was way easier for me um getting the items and shipping them down to ghana so what i was doing was um i had people send me a list of things or you could just send me your cards from whichever website in the uk and i get them send them down to ghana for you which was going really well so when i got back and lockdown started and all of that we were home and when the lockdown started i think um two weeks or so after that i went for my stuff as in the some of the stock we had at the shop i brought it home i was still taking pictures and uploading and when someone orders i call a rider to come for a go deliver then i opened up the personal shopping offer again because i was just home we can't go to the shop and around that time because of corona too most of the brands were like giving out amazing deals like there was a lot of discounts a lot of like offers on most of the uk websites so i was like why not so i opened it up again took like a number of orders and so what i was doing with my personal shopping 
or what I do with my personal shopping offer is that I don't accept full payment from the client or the customer before the items get here. So what I do is I take 70% um, payment, then when the items get here, you pay the balance, that's the 30%. And it was like it was going on well. So yeah, whilst we were in lockdown, that was what I was doing alongside um, taking pictures and posting them online, the delivery guy will come for it and deliver. So I got a number of orders and I even got someone to partner with in the US to also do like US orders. It was going really well. So yeah, I got like a number of um, personal shopping orders. Then I also ordered some stuff to stock up the shop. So I ordered and then because I was not in the UK at the time, I used my shippers. So it was sent to my shippers address. But here's the thing. The person that I deal with, um, and the shipping company i think he is the owner he had come down to ghana to visit his family and he was stuck here because of the whole lockdown situation that was going on because the uk was in lockdown as well and we were in lockdown so he was stuck here so because he was here um one of his boys was taking care of my my orders and my shipments and this particular shipment took forever to get here like i'm not even going to lie it really stressed me a lot because it took forever like just imagine telling your client oh your package is going to arrive maybe in four weeks time or in six weeks time then after six weeks you like the things are not in you need to go back every time to explain to them oh please give me some time like it was it was so really yeah the man himself me. was here and one of his boys was taking care of my shipment the said date that the the things were supposed to arrive here the things didn't arrive so already i had that to deal with i had to go back to explain to my customers to bear with me and that's because of and also yeah because of covid the even the brands themselves like you know like normally when you order stuff in the uk they'll give you like maybe um normal shipping sometimes it's like two to five working days or two to seven working days but because of corona most of them took like way longer so it took longer for the items to be delivered to my shippers address in the uk before they would also ship it down to me so yeah there was like a lot of delays so i had to go back to my clients to explain to them and to plead with them to give me like some time you know now the items finally get here i get the things and this is what happens some of my items are missing and guys it's not even it's like it would have been way easier if they were all like my things like my personal things that i've bought to stock up the shop i would have like it would have been way easier on me but then some of the stuff that people had pre-ordered through the personal shopping offer were missing like they were missing and it was just a lot for me here's the case someone has ordered something and the person has made part payment for the item how am i now going to tell them your item didn't come and like what am i supposed to do so yeah some of the items got missing and i had to refund the people their monies because they had paid for it and i'm not providing the item so ideally i'm supposed to refund them some of my items that i had ordered for the shop to stock up as well were missing and guys you know how when like you know when they say when when things are happening to you or when i, I don't even know how to say it. like you know how when when you are encountering problems they come like one problem after the i don't know if it happens to to some of you so yeah already there was lockdown everyone was not having it like business was slow things were not going the way i thought they should go for me because yes i had come back from school i was so happy i had a lot of plans i had sent cvs out i hadn't heard anything from any of them my business was slow shop closed down now i've ordered stuff for people my items getting missing i have to refund them then to top it all i also encountered the darkest moment of my life guys see i never wish this for anybody <sighs> i never wish this for anybody 
but I'm actually not so over it and I don't think I'm in the right space to talk about it I would I believe I would eventually talk about this but I'm just not in the right space to talk about it now but then all I'm trying to say is like when when things keep happening to you when problems you keep encountering problems and they come like in folds they come like in folds it's so hard and like I like I was saying to top it all this also happened to me which is a bit a bit personal but I I would definitely share it someday because yes I would definitely share it someday so that people who are going through such situations would also know that they are not alone and yeah definitely I would when the time comes when the right time comes but then yeah this also happened to me and at that point I had had it all I had actually had it all and I was not motivated to do anything like I could literally wake up in the morning and go stand in front of the mirror and look at myself and cry and ask God why me because it was just too much for me at the time but then uh, but then <sighs> It was just too much for me at the time and I sort of understand I sort of now understand when they say God doesn't give you too much that you can't handle because at the time I thought it was too much for me like I, I, I actually don't even know how I got through through it I don't know how I've been able to deal with it to this point like that is why i wrote in that caption that i didn't know i was strong like that because it broke me and everything was just not going like was just not working for me everything was against me at that point like nothing was going on well for me nothing and i mean nothing but i kept going like i i really don't know how i did it but i i really don't know how i did it all i know is I had good people around me who kept me going people who cared to see me happy again people who cared to see me win people who who are genuinely down for me like who genuinely have my back you know and the funny thing is around that time I was still posting on YouTube because i think this was one of the ways i dealt with it because like sitting in front of the camera recording doing what i love helped me like get my mind off it and then the love and support i get from you guys actually kept me going trust me because you guys had no idea what i was going through at that time but then like i kept posting because like i like i said this was one of the ways i was dealing with it i guess at least if everything else is against me i have like i have people on here who love what i do people on here who support me people on here who don't even know me and love me for me and it's it's surprising how um what am i even saying and yeah around that time i was rather not active on snapchat instagram and surprisingly people who don't even know me from anywhere or people that I had met through other people to yeah were rather messaging me to find out if everything was okay with me because they are not seeing me post on snap because like yeah I was very active on snap and all of a sudden they don't see my snaps again and they, they message me to say naku are you okay are you sure everything is okay with you and that got me thinking for a moment like surprisingly some of the people who were there with me when everything was rosy when like we're jamming and everything was jejeli jeje were nowhere to be found like did they even notice there was something wrong with me like they were nowhere to be found and people that i had rather met through them were messaging me to ask me now are you okay are you sure everything is okay with you how far with your shop your shop has still been closed for only god knows how long and like 
are you like are you guys thinking the way i'm thinking because I, I guess it's just it's just logic like it's just a logic way of thinking i don't know if i'm just overthinking things but then that was it for me like but then in all this i have learned well it's not that i didn't even know this already i knew but then i'm just stubborn <laughs> i'm just way too stubborn but like yeah in all this i have I have learned not to expect too much from anybody and I have also learned that no one is really down for you like you are down for yourself so yeah go all out for yourself show up for yourself like be selfish when necessary because yeah period the lockdown ban or whatever was lifted and months after that my shop was still closed because I was just not motivated to do anything and so I, I just decided to still keep my shop closed until I feel I want to get back to it. It's not as if I didn't have things to sell, like I didn't have stock. I still have stock. I, I actually still have stock sitting in my house right now. I stopped posting online. I just, like I just felt I needed a break and I guess this is like the longest break i never thought i needed trust me it's the longest break i never thought i needed but it's been very very helpful it's helped me to to understand myself it's helped me to to come back better because i'm so excited about about what is to come i'm so excited um about to get back to business i'm so excited about my new collection which i can't wait to share with all of you um yeah i've been talking way too much but all i'm trying to say is go all out for yourself and don't expect too much from anybody so yeah my shop has actually been closed for one year that is it and yeah so my business we're about to get back to work and i have a new collection um the stuff are actually in but we need to do some you know so i'll communicate the like the launching date to you guys properly so yeah if you are not following my business page kindly do well to do so i would put our name here make sure you follow me on the gram and also um i'll leave a link to a sign up form where you can subscribe to our mailing list so that anytime we have like new staff new collection um special offers discounts you'll be the first to hear about it and also if you are subscribed to our mailing list you enjoy some perks such as um exclusive birthday discounts so make sure you put in your birthdays when you are filling the forms because we'll send you exclusive like birthday discount codes on your birthdays to treat yourself to some nice stuff on your birthday and yeah so basically that's it and also um what, what else what else what else did you guys even ask about okay so yeah when it comes to job job wise like i said when i go back i sent a couple of cvs out and all of that. that's like i was not hearing from any of them i was just there and hopeful so it was not until i think um august or september i think august and then i finally heard from one of them and so yeah currently i'm working but i was an unemployed master <laughs> so yeah currently i'm working but i was an unemployed master's graduate for nine good months and oh guys i actually got covid um i got covid in february um this year so i got i got covid in february but then for me i didn't experience like any of the symptoms which i don't know i didn't experience any of the symptoms but here's the thing um for some reasons my husband and i decided to go for for a test like a random test and um i tested positive and he tested negative but i i was okay like i was very okay nothing was wrong with me i could breathe I could still taste I could still smell the only thing was I was getting like slight headaches but it was nothing serious 
um so yeah i got covid so i was home for like two weeks i was not going to work and all of that i was just taking my the drugs i was given and then my vitamin c with zinc and i was doing the whole steaming thing and i was okay i tested negative and life still goes on <laughs> so yeah covid is real and take care of yourself protect yourself um, be responsible if you see someone who is not in the mask someone who doesn't sanitize and all of that like be responsible for one another because though you don't have it um, someone else could have it and give it to you without you even knowing because here's the case i was i was going about with my life i didn't even know i had covid because i was okay like everything was normal there was nothing wrong with me like i said no cold no sore throat everything was okay if not for the fact that we did that random test i'm sure i would have been walking around for only god knows how long before if i had ever decided to go for a test i would have known that i had covid so yeah covid is real and stay safe take care of yourself okay guys so you guys asked for this video and i thought i owed it to you guys so that's it um everything is okay with me i'm good and gucci now i'm just taking each day at a time and i'm more intentional about growing and becoming a better person in everything i do so i make conscious efforts to build myself to build upon myself and to get better at everything i do like i'm just taking each day at a time i'm actually grateful for where i am now um i can confidently say i'm happy um i'm emotionally okay i'm mentally okay i'm psychologically okay if there's one thing i've noticed about myself it's definitely maturity it definitely has to be maturity because um the naku back then would have reacted to certain things differently but then um i'm actually happy with my growth trust me i'm, I'm happy with the kind of woman i am now i'm happy that i'm more focused on on things that will build me things that would that will make me a better person things that would elevate me things that will make me the boss babe i want to be <laughs> so yeah guys everyone fights silent battles and people will just post on the gram you think that everything is good with everyone but then don't just assume and don't don't wish to be to be others when you don't really know what they go through i don't know if that makes sense but don't wish to be to be others if you don't know what they go through because like we all fight silent battles like i said earlier on i doubt you people would have known around that time that i was going through all of this because i was always showing up on here filming putting out content smiling always like looking good and all of that i'm sure none of you would have thought that was what i was going through but then i was going through a whole lot and i was still showing up and putting out content so yeah guys that's that's it for today you guys wanted to know what's up with me what's up with my business and all of that and like i said i'm just taking each day at a time and i'm positive i'm putting in all the work i need to put in to to be a better person to achieve all that i've set for myself this year i know we have plans but god also has plans for us so i'll just do my best and leave the rest to god and according according to god's plan i know everything will go on well so enjoy the rest of your day and stay positive put in the work for yourself uh, be more intentional about your good don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to my channel kindly like this video if you found it helpful if you enjoyed it if you managed to learn a thing or two from this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video